You know what, Frankie? Stop me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing you're probably feeling lost right now. Maybe even useless, like you'll never get back to the man you were. I don't even remember who that guy was. I do. Just like you and Taylor knew who I was and, and forced me to let you guys in. I'm glad I let you in because that's when I really started to heal. I've been there, Frankie. Really? Really? You were the one on the road to become a surgeon? You were the one who had his chief of staff at, at your hospital seek you out just to tell you that he wanted to mentor you. That was my future. And all I needed were these. It's gone now. You're right. I know I'm right. I don't know where you're coming from. Because I didn't have the education you did or the opportunities. You joined the Army after 9-11 because you wanted a break from your career and a chance to give back. On the other hand, I joined because, <laughs> hell, I didn't know what else to do with my life. You know, I didn't have a, a medical diploma or some souped-up resume. I was just another soldier with the right. So let me get this straight. I was some spoiled brat, is that it? No, no, not saying that at all. What I'm saying is now you're like me. Your hands are messed up, yeah. And my face, it's my face. Does it suck? Yeah, it sucks, man. But we're alive. And we have a family. How many soldiers didn't get a chance to say that? Frankie? Don't dishonor their memory by wasting yours. So you sure you want me to do this? Once I do, he's all yours. I understand. And it means you got to drive him to the hospital, take full responsibility. I get it, Jesse. OK, then. All right, so that's it. Is that all? Here that's go. it. Good. OK, come on. Let's go. Hey, Hayward, next time you decide to kill yourself, do it at home. Leave my streets and my officers out of it. You got it? Oh, what happened? Are they hurt, Dad? Nobody, nobody's dead, Tell okay? Me. Nobody's dead. Oh, thank God. It's just that, uh, well, um, well, David's been taken. He, he was arrested for drunk driving. Wait, what? I thought Crystal was driving him home. So did I. There was a change of plan. Apparently, they hit a guardrail, and well, he's fine. Of okay. course. But Crystal, well, they brought her in. They're doing a, a CT scan right now. So no one's dead? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I realized the minute I hung up the phone, I had no right to do that to you. It was just the first thing that came out of my mouth. When you called, I, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> Can we not do this, please? Hey, Kendall, I didn't come here to fight, no, okay? I really... It was Emma's idea. You know what? All right, stop, stop, both of you. Come on, you're acting like idiots. God, I wish she was here. Who? Greenlee. If, if Greenlee was here, she'd have put you both in your place right now before you even knew what hit you. Hey, Kendall, can, can we do this without bringing Greenlee into it, okay? Why? Why? Why, 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 why can't we talk about her? She was practically my sister. She was your fiancé. The woman who kept you alive in that bomb shelter. Greenlee meant so much to all of us. And it wasn't so long ago that we were all really close. Yeah? Well, then why does it feel like forever? Hey, double fist now, are we? This is for you. Oh. I hope you want a beer. Yes, I do. Thank you. See? Is everything okay? Not really. I just came from seeing Frankie, and that no, no, boy no, no, is no, no, not. No, 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 no. I meant, um, right. is everything okay with you? That's what I was trying to tell you. You know, you were telling me about Frankie, and he's in a bad way. I know that. I actually just had a very long conversation with Randy about that. What? What's your problem? What's my problem? Um, my problem is that you went to Germany for two weeks, and I never heard from you. And then I just saw you at the Hubbards. I don't even get a hello. Frankie's in a bad way. I get that. But I haven't seen you. 
could we just have a little time together? Can we have a night together and I, have I, some drinks? And I can't believe you're making this about you. Are we really fighting about this, or is it, or is it something else? I mean, it's not about me. It's about you and me. And how I don't have any idea who we are anymore. Rot. There's something different here. I mean, don't you feel that? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, when we were in Iraq, that was, that was a rush, 24-7. You know, that was constant adrenaline and constant excitement. And, and, and to fall in love with somebody on top of that, I look back on that now and I think that was our honeymoon period, as weird as that sounds. And now? Things are different. I thought, I thought it was enough just to have you back alive. I thought that, that we could go back to what we were. But we can't do that, can we? Guess not. What do we do now? Hey, there's my beautiful daughter-in-law. Hey. How you doing? Good to see you. You too. Frankie here? Fire escape. Not too chatty today, though. Hmm. I know this is your place and all, but did you... Say no more. I'm out of here. Yes. Do me a favor, though. Don't get too discouraged if you don't get very far. Well, I won't go anywhere if uh, I don't try, right? That's my girl. It's a lucky guy out there. Don't let him tell you any different, OK? I won't. Go get him. Hey. So you're still not talking to me. That's OK. Because, you know, as much as the silent treatment sucks, it's not enough to get rid of me, Frankie. So I'm going to go inside, and I'm going to start cooking dinner. And if you want to join me, you can. And if you don't, then don't. Your choice. How are you feeling? David? No, no, honey, it's, uh, it's Tad and Marissa. Sweetheart, you were in an accident. Do you remember? Yeah. I was in the car with, with David. Is he okay? Well, David is fine. No, I scratch on him. But you collapsed. You're in the hospital. Now, we ran a CT and you have a concussion. But she's going to be okay, right? Yeah, as long as she gets some rest. We're going to keep you overnight for observation, okay? I'm so glad you're here. in there. Yeah. And the good news is she's alive now thanks to you. You do know you could have killed her, right? But I didn't. And that's all you got to say? To you? Yes. 